All right, so this is a great question. What's worse, the tunica intima being scraped by the catheter or the needle tip snagging on the needle uh, on the valves? Of course, snagging on the valves is going to be worse. There's significant endothelial injury there. However, if we're inserting with ultrasound properly, it doesn't matter. It's not going to happen because the proper technique is to make sure that the needle tip is in the center of the vein while we're advancing. As long as you're in the center, you're not going to perforate through that leaflet itself. Now, if you're not doing it properly, yeah, of course, you can punch through the other side of the wall. You can hit an artery. You can hit a nerve bundle. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's always possible, and it is always worse. This is why if you're not confident or good at what you do with the ultrasound, sure, advance that whole catheter. It's better to do that than puncture things that you're not supposed to because you weren't good at the ultrasound in the first place. Now, of course, when I say you, I don't mean the commenter. I mean everybody here at this point. And now the second part of the question or second question was, with good catheter to vein ratio, basically a large vein, does it matter? Is it really going to scrape that endothelium? It doesn't matter the catheter to vein ratio. It's Yes, if it's a very, very high CVR, you're going to scrape the entire circumference of that vein, and that entire vein is going to thrombose. And this is why our high CVR insertions and catheters don't dwell or last very long. However, it doesn't matter even with the big vein, because with the big vein, we are actually more likely to scrape at a higher angle. So it really is about the angle that you're advancing that catheter. If you're advancing the catheter while parallel and you don't touch the vein walls, yeah, it doesn't matter because, again, we're not touching the vein walls. But if we are, while we advance that catheter, how much damage are we causing? I venture to say always we're causing some kind of damage uh, because there's, there is going to be scraping or shearing of that glycocalyx protein. Now... How much is that glycocalyx protein scraping anyways while it's pistoning during regular use? But then again, how much scraping pre-use are we going to cause and is that going to cause thrombosis? <laughs> There's so much going on there. So, yes, just the catheter being there is going to cause uh, abrasions at the tip of the catheter for sure. However... Let's reduce the amount of abrasion, the amount of surface area scratched by that catheter so that we don't start the thrombosis cascade so overwhelmingly uh, during the dwell.